so young Why you had to take you away I'm Feeling so sure What has ever happened to me? Your mommy and your daddy miss you so much Wake up every day so wishing you would show up Wake up every day feeling so up Yeah, yeah, yeah They say God was in mysterious ways But I can't think of why he would take you away Trying to do the pain Steady praying for strength I don't know to blame Cause you were so young To get your baby giving all up Why couldn't he be your <laughs> you take so long, man. Look at the camera, I can't find it. Alright, so right now I'm doing a questionnaire before I donate blood. So this is how it looks like. It's pretty simple. <laughs> Nestor's over there getting snacks because he just donated blood and he's taking advantage. No, I'm just kidding. How do you feel? Do you feel weak? A little bit. A little bit? Let's see, show the snacks. You ain't wasting no time, huh? You need to eat some, um, ¿qué dijo? Red meat? Red meat. Yeah. Especially on the so day. For 56 days, you, you gain that one liter? 56 days? I guess. So we're here at Vitalent where we donated for Sebastian's blood drive event last year. They actually called Nestor that they were actually low in blood so they needed um, people to come and donate but I couldn't because I couldn't donate today because my... Why is my eyelash crooked? My eyelash is crooked, huh? But they told me that my iron levels were too low for me to donate. I have to be at a 12.5 and my iron levels were 12.4 on this hand and 12.3 on this one so they should have me twice and it hurts so I couldn't donate today unfortunately there's always a reason why I could never donate it's um, a normal, huh? it's a normal iron levels 12.5 here 12.4 and 12.3 it's not that bad but I'm always low on iron so and I was kind of feeling kind of sick not sick but I was kind of feeling low today so I wonder if that's what it was Ah, ah. Hey guys, so we're back in the car and I just quickly wanted to tell you guys a little bit of the information that they told me just in case you guys are interested in donating blood. As you guys know, we are going to be having the blood drive event again in November 3rd here in Phoenix. We haven't gave any details. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, but I don't have any details because we're just started to plan the event again. Well, we actually came to donate blood because the day of the event, we're not able to donate blood. And I know a lot of people were like, how, Candy, how come you didn't donate? It would have been nice to see you and the girls donate, but you guys need to realize that we are taking care of an event that is huge. There's no way we can donate, and then you're weak after donating. We're be standing all day talking to you guys all day. I don't think people pictures. realize. I don't um, think people realize how much an event is. Prior to it, planning the whole event is crazy. So we wanted to come out and donate blood today, but like I said, I wasn't able to donate blood because my iron levels were under 12.5. And I do suffer from an anemia really like I get it at least once I'm gonna say once a year I feel really and I was really I was a little dizzy today and it's probably that it's not too low but it's lower than what they they need well they're talking shit all day <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> it's my iron levels so Nestor's hemoglobin was actually 
Mine's always good. 14.1, so that's why he was able to donate. Blood pressure's always good, everything's good. They check your blood pressure, you have a good, good and iron. They Hemoglobin. check everything before yeah. you donate. They also said that drinking red wine, um, eating dark chocolate, and also eating um, red meats, which like tacos or red whatever. Red wine helps you with iron? Yeah, they said. That's what she was telling me. Yeah, so bottles. next time I go down a bottle before I freaking come. No, I'm just kidding, the day before. The majority of this blood that that Vitalink gets goes to Phoenix Children. So that's why we teamed up with them mm -hmm. and we want to be part of them. We want to be donating to them all the time. So like they say, they're to eat red meat, so we're going to go eat tacos. <laughs> <laughs> He's using the excuse. We have to. And Kenny, you look sexy driving my truck. Look at you. Dang, oh God. He did all that just to stay way behind over there. There's a truck right now that was getting on Kenny's ass right now. Like, I'm gonna stop because he's passing. Well, when Kenny stepped in, I was like, wow, the power. Oh my god. Now your truck gets me. Shit, sure, right. <laughs> well, look, we were stuck in crap. We can just see him through here. Nesto. Look, yep, yeah, that's you. I <laughs> better. I got the E. Oh, he's actually taking pictures of us. He is? <laughs> he's taking pictures. Turn it on. Turn it on. He's taking pictures? Yep. He was taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Take pictures, we're used to it. What can I You feel pressure when I tell you that? Yes, and so I feel pressure with the uh, camera on and I feel pressure. <laughs> I feel pressure. Kenny's after the guy like he's right here. <laughs> I'm not after him! I Calm couldn't down. Make, You're scaring I couldn't me. make a laugh! I you're couldn't make a laugh! You're scaring me. Shut yeah. up, Nesto. I feel pressure. I can't make a left. There's cars coming this way, this way, nonstop. He's over there taking pictures of me. And then by the time I'm gonna go, there's more cars. I'm not after him. Kenny was hauling ass right now. She's, and then this guy's right here, the one that was talking crap right now. Damn, I'm after him. look at Kenny's ass. You better not scratch my rim, bro. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I'm just kidding. Damn, I'm scared. Looks sexy driving hard. Shut up! Damn, come on, Why are you here early from school, huh? Because I'd like to, because I want to come home. <laughs> and he's cooking. I'm pretty sure that this vlog is going to be all over the place, but we do have a lot of things going on right now at the moment in the house. So we kind of just want to update you guys since we haven't been home in a couple days and we haven't really been vlogging too much at home. Um, just kind of update you guys on what's going on. Nicole, once again. No, I'm just kidding, guys. She didn't feel good. She left school to be shopping. Wait, Show them. It's for them, though. Oh, you do a giveaway? So Nicole, Nicole didn't feel good today, so we went to pick her up from school. She actually, I feel like you have like low iron too. So I'm, I'm giving her already some vitamins. That way she feels better. <laughs> Imagine I would have faint. I know, but it's not cool. Like even today at the gym, guys, I felt like I was going to faint. I have been taking vitamins and all that, but I did forget them a couple days. And it has a lot to do with women and their days and all that, you know. So that's when we feel like the worst. I know it's too much info for you guys, but that's when it happens the most when we feel like crap. Um, but I wanted to update you guys on what's going on in our house. We actually were getting these lights in the ceiling installed. So guys, let me show you guys the kind of lighting that we used to have. And now we have that. Look at the difference. These ceiling lights are making such a big difference in our living room. You guys might not be able to tell right now because it's daytime, but at night it makes such a difference. Look at, look at without it. Day <laughs> With them, without them. Are you having fun? Yeah. We're actually getting them installed in our room too. Uh. Stop! I was so into my vlog! So you guys will probably see that in Snapchat. You're freaking annoying. Let me show you guys what our room... Our room is a mess right now, but... Jose and his dad are actually the ones that are working on them because they are the professionals. Why is there a mess in my room? Huh? Why is there a mess in my room? I'm just kidding. So this is what they've been putting on in the room. We're gonna do four. I can't turn them on right now because... There's no electricity. No. And then they're putting some in the restroom. Man, your house has so many problems. What? Your house keeps sleeping. So many problems. That's exactly why everyone's suing this place. You touch it. Lick it. <laughs> Put your tongue in there. <laughs> 
So we actually got them here by the kids' rooms as well. We and then we got, these. they canceled these, which I didn't really want to cancel these. But it was too late. By the time I wanted to tell them not to cancel them, they're already canceled. But it's okay because we have these up here. Callate! Hey guys, it's currently the next day. Sorry this vlog's been everywhere. Uh, we've been doing so much things and we just forget to pick up the vlog. So we got candy in the back. Acting I'm like she's to, busy. I'm trying to post a picture. What are you talking about, dude? Hope you're dude, I'm not your dude. Yes, you are my dude. Go like the picture, go comment. Go like it. Go like it. Go comment it. And go callate. <laughs> We're a step closer to dropping our guy at the merch. Comment in my last picture who's excited. Who's gonna cop it? Because I know I'm gonna get one. Kenny's gonna get one. I think everybody's gonna get one. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna sell out really quick. What? I'm gonna wear it every time you wanna talk to me. <clears throat> You do on the bus. Hi, Fashion Square. What's your Instagram? Are you hey, shut up. <laughs> look at my fit for today. Oh, looking saucy. Drippity drip drip. Candy. Mm. Looking good over there. Yeah, guys, Candy's a perfectionist. Every time she takes a picture, she face tunes it. Forget you! I'm not on my phone! Aguilar Homes under construction. Yeah, it was falling apart. We put like 28 lights. That means we gotta work our asses off more to pay the bill. <laughs> you have your own car, you offer your own rides. All right. I offer my truck. Alright, well, I'll get that car and then I'll get it. You gas money. No! <laughs> I don't got money! I don't got money! Chill, I don't got money. I only got two quarters in there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the whole drama going on? That my dad is my Uber and no, now he wants, wants to okay, retire. One of her friends, but she always has that thing where my dad can pick you up. Oh, him, oh, him, oh, so you have to pay for gas. Those are the rules. No, he's gonna pay for gas. This yeah. Hispanic parents charge, you. Uh, charge me or him? Mas forty dollars for the money you get This. An Uber? You swear I'm going to go all the way over there and then come back No, I don't swear stuff. you are no. going to go. I'm serious. Give me $40 right now. $40? <laughs> I'm, <texting you guys. laughs> I'm being serious. I'm going to charge you. Yeah, I want to buy you some shoes. Not from the Gucci store, but from... Payless. <laughs> Payless or something. Or from the Walmart. Right, so, this new camera, for some reason, has like a little red button, even though we're not recording. So, half the time, I think I'm recording. And we're not. You guys have been missing a lot of cheese me because sometimes I think I'm recording the whole cheese minute. I'm really not recording. Yeah. So right now, guys, we're on our way to decorate. Um, Titi Stumba. Yeah, Titi Stumba. Like Melody said, Melody used to call him Titi. I don't know why, okay, my but. Hmm. You swear. The caca brown. Wait, can I be the ox cord lady? DJ, you mean? That. DJ Melo. <laughs> DJ Yellow Teeth is in the mix. Catch his tossy. Coco, Coco, Colgate. That was actually a good one. Oh, yeah. Day, we stay roasting Melody. You guys should see her though. She roasts us all day too. That's our family. We don't get offended. A lot of people get offended when they hear us roast each other. We have a blast roasting each other. If we were to do a video, we'd be throwing all our trapitos al sol out there. So we'd rather not. So we're on our way to decorate Sebastian's grave, guys, because it's almost October. And you guys know last year we went to a pumpkin patch and decorated with a pumpkin. It got bad right away. Like, se pudrió right away. So, right now I got a couple stuff from the Dollar Store. The Dollar Tree has the cutest stuff. I would go to Michael's and pick out, like, nice, like, flowers. But then I go to Dollar Tree, too, and they have, like, the cutest, like, like solar like stuff, huh? Just to decorate. So I mix and match a lot of everything, but I haven't had a chance to go to Michael's. Maybe we should go to Michael's first. Go to Michael's first, please. Sure. Thank you, Uber. Nestor swears that I. That we got. Be -be 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, so Nestor swears that I got the truck for him, but it's actually for him to drive me around Sorry. everywhere. <laughs> Hey guys, Dad. just FYI, <laughs> I got my window broken already. You live in Phoenix, there's always freaking rocks. Oh yeah, you thought. Broken. That, that thing fell like. <laughs> <laughs> so 
all right guys so we are here at the cemetery we made a quick stop to michael's and we got a couple things that way we can just decorate as much as possible today but let me show you guys i don't know when's the last time i've actually vlogged here at the cemetery let me show you guys how much is actually grown and it doesn't even feel peaceful anymore because there's so many cars here all the time there's so many families and i just feel for everyone i just feel their pain every time i see like a new person here at the cemetery so this is where sebastian is and look how much this used to be all nothing but fields look how much it's grown see that's still fields but then over here there's like a whole side of the cemetery but one thing i am gonna say guys if you guys ever see us here at the cemetery i never mind like for people to say hi to me but just don't be like recording us from far and making it obvious it's so uncomfortable guys i'd rather people come up to me and say hi than just be recording me and i feel so uncomfortable i'm not even gonna lie about this because people think it's okay to just stop be recording you like we don't have feelings and we're here to visit our baby and have a peaceful time so this is what his grave looks like right now it's a bit messy because he has a lot of toys and we're gonna throw away all the old ones because I don't like when they get really old but we're gonna convert this into something cute today does it still work? What? That's all. The battery's dying, huh? Make of the sun. So I wanted to show you guys the rocks. This one says love, faith, believe, and strength. Because that is what Sebastian had. He had a lot of strength. So I thought this one was so cute to put here too. as of now if we do add more stuff to it we'll be posting like on our snapchat but one of the things that i do wanted to say we haven't got the pictures because i'm very indecisive guys look how lit up it looks it's full of light all right guys so we are back home now and i just wanted to quickly say talk about the um sebastian's photos i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be wondering why we still don't have any of his photos and that's because i can't decide on what photos i actually want we all of his photos are beautiful. Yeah, He's beautiful in every single one of his pictures since he was born. But it's just so hard because I, I have to pick two for the bench and one for the for the bottom side. And I just can't decide till now. And every time we say, okay, we're going to do these two, I'm like, no, wait, I want this one instead. So it's been very hard. So I've kind of left it off all year, but I know I have to get to them already. But as soon as we do, we'll update you guys. That's still going to be another process. It takes a long time. But that is one of the reasons why we still don't have his pictures. because it, Not because we don't have the money to do it. Because one time I saw people trying to do a GoFundMe. I'm like, don't, do not. I would never accept that. We do not need that. Which was really, really nice of you guys and thoughtful. I'm Let's stop for a else. second. What? Um, before we end this video, can we stop and take a moment and check out Candy? She looks beautiful today. Well, you always do, but you look pretty. Que hiciste? Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I do want to say one other thing. I saw a comment that kind of like stood out to me that I wanted to answer. It's like they wanted to know about my feelings after so long. After it's gonna almost be two years that Sebastian is gone. They wanted to know what I feel and all this. And I feel like I don't share too much of that. I feel like I've gotten a lot better in hiding my emotions. And it just helps me. You know, sometimes I do what helps me stay strong and it doesn't mean that we don't talk about Sebastian at home. We talk about him all day long. Every like day. we talk to him, seven. we kiss his pictures all day long. Nothing has changed. I guess what has changed is that I don't show it too much on social media and that's just kind of to protect myself and my feelings, but nothing has changed. I still get depressed. I still cry a lot, but I don't show it a lot, you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm finally able to go out more, do more stuff, but 
in the back of my mind, he's still there with me. You know, I feel him. He's always going to be there with me. But I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm sure a lot of you, a lot of moms that have lost kids probably want to know about this. No matter how long it's been, it's almost been two years for me. You will never forget your baby. Yeah, ever, ever, hard. ever. Don't ever feel like we're forgetting about him. I don't want to cry. <sighs> Before we close down this video, today's post notification shout out goes to Valerie Anglada. Welcome to the family, girl. I read your comment that said that you're new to our family. And if you would like a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the Aguilar's turn your post notifications and comment on the last picture in IG if you can't comment on our video. Go look at our last picture in IG. We both posted a picture, you know? We look kind of we look kind of cute. Why do? Oh. All right, guys, don't forget that we love you guys and just know that whenever we're not posting, we're always up to something. And I really wanted to show you guys where the blood drive event's going to be at, but as you guys like like we told you guys, we're like always all over the place and we can never make it to places on time. So just know that we're fixing the house. We're doing so many things at once, but we're always doing something. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna try to just have the vlog with us, even if we show you guys everything we do like in two, three days, but we're gonna try to be doing more of that. That way yeah. we actually get out a video for you guys on time because we slack on that a lot. But we're, we're getting our shit yeah, together now. We're gonna start taking the camera everywhere. Oh. You know, even when I get out of the shower. <laughs> <That's just like laughs> All right guys, don't forget that we love you guys. With and that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I was saying something. And we'll see you guys in the next That video. was my part. No, was it? This is my part then. Cállate. That's my part.